So Kids Den Channel asked me how to apply the same transition to all the videos at once. It's actually really easy. So let me show you how to do that. I took a, a video real quick, my raccoon video, and I went over here, you know, and I split the timeline. And every time you got a split in your timeline, that's where I want to put a transition. So we're going to click the transition room or F8 or the lightning bolt. Take your pick. And I want to make sure there's nothing in my favorites room to make this easier for you to understand. Notice there. And to see what's over here to see if you're organized, it's that little blue arrow. See that? And then we can see what's going on. If I click all content, then we'll see all the transitions coming down. Now, a lot of times, what you can do is when you click on a transition, watch what happens here just above the timeline. We get some choices here. So you see this one here will pick a random transition. I don't have any clue which one it'll pick. It'll pick it and toss it in there. This one will actually do a fading. Most people do fades. So it'll just like, boom, give them all a fade. And this one will actually work with the audio and you can play around with that. But it doesn't do the one I want. Okay. So let's say what I got. I got that one. Not much pizzazz there. What about this one? That's pretty cool. So what we want to do, whichever one we want, I want to right click on it. And then I want to add it to my favorites. See that there? You only get one choice. So right click, add to favorites. And if you look right up here, it actually added it there. My favorites. So now what happens is this first one, which you didn't see, allows me to apply this. And uh, let me hover over that. apply my favorite transition to all videos. So whatever transition you want to use, put it in the favorite folder. And then you're going to click this and you're going to go, go crazy. And then basically it adds that transition to the whole video, wherever there's basically a break in your video, which is pretty cool. Now, if you don't want to do all your videos, for example, so let me Bring a couple of these down. One, two, and three down here. So I got some on top, some on the bottom. And this is where we use the locks. So hit the locks. I'm going to lock this row down, but this row up here I'm going to leave open. So again, I'm going to click my favorite transition. I'm going to apply it right across everything. And notice it only went to here. It didn't touch these at all. So now I can actually go and select it and do a couple different transitions where I wanted the whole row to have all of them by simply using the locks here on the left. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so one last time. And if you add three or four, um, three or four of these in here, then it'll pick them randomly and put them across. So again, we're going to find a transition that we like. And then we're going to select that transition. We're going to right click on it. We're going to add it to our favorites. Now I can use this. Add to my favorites. Boom, boom, boom. Cross transition. Wham, wham, wham. Everybody's good to go. And we're not having to drag them one at a time up and down. And away we go. So I hope that answers your questions. I did this in Power Director 19, but I'm sure you can do it in 18, 17, whatever. Just look around and you'll be able to copy the same transition right across your entire video and make life so much easier and do it a whole lot faster. This was done in Power Director 19 and I'll catch you guys on the next one.